All right, I'm going to lob you one. How are you guys holding? Uh, steady. Thank you. That's too easy. Craig, I love your voice, man. It just, it just so fits in. Did you always see yourself as a, a front man? You know, were you always uh, going to be on the stage like that? Well, the first, the first band I had, I played rhythm guitar because I was too scared to sing. Um, but then I started writing songs, and it was kind of like, it was just like, the guys are singing them wrong, you know? So, um, Did you have one of those singers that you just wish was off the stage and you were in that band? Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean by that? Where you're sitting there playing rhythm guitar and that guy's singing it wrong, well, and you're yeah, sitting, well, what the hell am I doing in this band? Well, I knew what he was doing in the band. He was popular and good looking, so I was like, you know. <laughs> that has it. <laughs> you know, yeah. But, uh, but eventually uh, I started writing songs and I started, started writing them for my own, or, you know, uh, writing words, and uh, I kind of was able to develop, develop my own thing. Very cool. And I also dig that two guitar sound that we got now with the band. It's only been like that for a couple albums, right? Yeah, yeah. We, um, well, Steve joined on the touring of the last album. This is the first album we recorded and uh, wrote with him and sort of this two guitar lineup. Right. Well, you want to induce who we just heard about Steve? We've got... Tad Kubler on guitar. Right. Bob Drake on the drums and Galen Polifka on bass and Steve Selvage on, on the other guitar. Uh -huh. well, so welcome through Portland. We've got you at the Wonder Ballroom tonight and a new album is the reason you're out. How deep into the tour are we are right now? Well, um, I, the album came out in March, so in one way we're, we've been touring pretty much since then. But on this run, I think we're about, I don't know, two and a half weeks in maybe? Yeah. Does that sound right? goes till August 10th, so it's a long one. Everybody gets along on the ride, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're doing pretty good. No spinal tap stories or anything? Uh, well, we did play at 11 a.m. in uh, Telluride the other day. Yeah. That felt kind of spinal tap. And uh, it did, wasn't one of these kind of things, huh? <laughs> no, no, it was a real show. It was, like, it was kind of a surprise, uh, yeah. Surprise, like, hey, you're, you guys are going on at 11. 11 what? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah not many Better festivals. Start drinking now. Yeah. <laughs> well, you have to no, set your alarm. There was no puppet show. Yeah. So. <laughs> Funny. But there was nothing, there was no music before, so it was coming on to, they weren't even playing music on the PA. Right. You know, when you have to chirping. set your alarm to get up on, to get on stage for a rock show, it's a little weird. Yeah. Do that jazz odyssey for 50 people sitting sporadically in the audience, very cool. Well, let's talk about Teeth Dreams. It seems as if you guys had a little bit more time to put this one together. Well, we certainly took more time. I mean, we made our first five records in seven years and then took a little break and, uh, came back and, and put this one out four years later. So um, we did have a lot of songs. And, um, you know, like I said, we had a so slightly different lineup. And um, but yeah, yeah, I mean, I guess I guess we maybe took a little more time on this. Cool. Well, the writing process for you, it can I have no idea how it is. Do you get with every guy, all the other guys? What's the writing process for the band? Well, this one was a little different. Um, usually Tad comes in with the music and, you know, shows it to, and I'm kind of around. But I made a solo record, went on tour. And then while I was out and these guys were getting together in Memphis and actually really kind of wrote um, the, the best part of seven songs that I just, you know, that were then given to me and I wrote lyrics. So they were kind of f much further along on this record than they usually are. Um, and most of those songs made the record. And we got to record it the way we wanted to record it? And yeah, yeah, we, we did it in Nashville with um, a guy named Nick Raskolinitz who's worked with the Foo Fighters and uh, a lot of big rock bands. And we had a lot of fun. It's the first record we ever made outside the New York area. Yeah, all right. Well, there's a lot of music to be found in outside our markets. You know, sometimes we kind of sit back and we... Forget about the Austins and the Nashvilles unless we move there, and then you kind of start knowing people around there. So, yeah. Excellent. Well, once again, thanks for getting up early and doing our little 12 wow. o'clock rock this show. Is, this is no problem. No problem. <laughs> Very cool. It's new. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. We are afternoon. All right. New albums, Teeth Dreams are at the Wonder Ballroom tonight. Once again, guys, the hold steady. Thank you. Yeah.